Label Studio provides intuitive tools to annotate a wide variety of data formats. Today, we'll take a brief look at annotating audio data. Our agenda is brief. We are just going to dive straight into the live demonstration. Then I will direct you to resources to learn more. Audio annotation is a broad term. There are a number of potential use cases from speech recognition, signal quality to sound event detection. Today, our focus will be in speaker segmentation. First, we'll start with creating a project. giving the project a name and a description. Next, we will design the user interface that the annotator will use to label the data. Unlike most annotation tools in the market that have a singular focus on data type or use case, Label Studio enables administrators to annotate across a multitude of data formats and annotation types. Our focus today will be in audio, more specifically in speaker segmentation and sentiment analysis. In choosing this template, I am presented with the UI designer for my project. On the right-hand side, we have a miniaturized version of what the annotator will see, and on the left, the configuration tools to design the perfect UI for my project. In testing my project, I can select a region of audio and annotate it at speaker one. This UI also enables my annotator to adjust the speed of the audio and also scale the axes for time and signal. Going to the configuration tools, I can add a new label and see the result of my changes in real time within the UI preview. I may wish to customize the interface further. In this case, I also have the option to modify the XML code. Here, I've added a few option boxes for the annotator to classify the sentiment and tone of the speaker per region of audio annotated. Now, all that's left is to import data into my project. With the project setup complete, let's experience the UI as an annotator. We can scale, we can listen, and we can annotate the speaker, as well as indicate the sentiment and tone. Now, let's take a look at a more real world use case for fraud detection in the insurance domain. Fraud detection is complex and often requires annotation across multiple modalities involving computer vision, audio transcription, sentiment analysis, natural language processing, and document understanding. In this case, I'll take on the persona of an annotator. As I begin the labeling process, I am presented with instructions on what needs to be annotated. Once presented the task, I can annotate the damage to the vehicle using bounding boxes, then provide additional information that will be nested under the specific boundary box region. Here, I can see some ancillary data that was imported with the image and audio data. Moving over to the audio, I can now annotate that audio, indicating the speaker for a particular section of the audio, then provide information such as transcription of what that speaker is saying, as well as the sentiment and tone of what was said. I can also evaluate the pre-annotated transcription and correct it if necessary. And finally, make a decision on whether or not to classify the claim as fraudulent. Once again, thank you for joining another episode of Label Studio Enterprise Bytes, where we walk you through simple bite-sized instructions for Label Studio Enterprise. To learn more, please visit labelstudio.io, where you can view our documentation and learn how to install our open source version. But if you're ready to get started with a free trial for Enterprise Solution, please visit www.hardtext.com to learn more about our free Enterprise Trial Program.